internet is overwhelming with so much information. I know, I've been there, I feel you. We are doing our 2024 Hawaii trip planning right now. So we thought, hey, let's sit down, let's make a video. Let's tell you what you need to know for your Hawaii trip planning as well. So we can all just do it together. And we got the timer going. Hi, I'm Jordan. And I'm Erica. And this is the Hawaii Vacation Guide. Now start it? Yeah, now start Okay, it. now we're starting. Okay. Starter. Number one, ignore what your friend says. Hawaii is open and welcoming visitors this year in 2024. So we had to start with this one right off the bat because everyone knows about the devastating Lahaina fires and the tragedy that occurred there. But there was some misinformation that has led to maybe a slowdown in Hawaii tourism, specifically Maui tourism. Hawaii is open. They're welcoming visitors. Lahaina is closed and it will be for years as they work to rebuild but the rest of Maui is open and welcoming visitors. So 2024 is all about packing your aloha, heading to Hawaii and supporting local businesses. Oh, and reminder, I know a lot of seasoned Hawaii travelers watch this channel. So leave a comment down below on a travel tip that you'll have for 2024 or just in general to help everybody out. It'd be wonderful, thank you. Number two is missing out on deals to Hawaii. There is some deals right now, supply and demand, because of last year and a lot of other reasons with the economy, who knows, but demand is down to the islands. There's been a little slump in visitors. So you find some good deals out there, mm -hmm. right? Airlines have cut prices and also rental car companies have cut prices too. Yes. So, but Hawaii economists are predicting a trend to come upwards, more people to come in 2024 or a recovery of the economy out here. So book early. Yeah, so those deals might not stick around for long. In fact, if you are watching this later in the year, there might not be any deal. I don't know, I have <laughs> no. no idea what's going on. You gotta look around, yeah. yeah. You gotta take a look. You'll find the best prices for 2024, and this is an early forecast, to Maui and Oahu. Yeah. Those are where you find the best prices right now, except hotels for Maui. Yeah. Hotels are still staying high on Maui, but look for deals elsewhere. Oahu always has the cheapest hotel rooms, so if you are True. looking for cheaper hotel rooms, you can check out Oahu. Also check out our site, bookedwithpoints.com, if you want to use some of those credit card points on hotel stays out here. We show you how to do it. It's a great recommendation. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> this is real. Number three is getting tricked by cheap plane tickets. You'll see some flash sale. You'll see some wonderful like $300 trip from LA to Honolulu and you'll book it. The problem is the flights are low, but the most expensive thing when you come to Hawaii is the lodging, yeah. the accommodations. So what we always recommend is find that place to stay first and then buy that plane ticket. Yeah. That's a good way to look at it. Mm -hmm. Number four, make sure you budget for Hawaii. Hawaii is expensive. It's, so it's a no-brainer, I gotta admit. Inflation hit the country hard, but it hit the islands really hard, especially for the cost of food and other things like that. Mm -hmm. So you just make sure you budget well for a trip in 2024. There might be some sticker shock. And this number is probably going to blow your mind because of Blue Line, man, we track this every year, but a 10-day trip for Hawaii, an average cost for a couple with everything included, right? Some activities and food and rental car, all that is $8,000. So obviously you can spend less yeah. for sure, and you can absolutely spend more, <laughs> but... That's what you gotta work with right there. So it's a good budget number. Yeah, so you can check out our article because we show you everything about how to get to a number and how to estimate how much your trip will cost. And we give you some great price points that you can start working with to estimate your own trip cost. We have two ways to save, easy ways to save, right? It's first of all, Discount Car Rental. We have a link down below to our favorite site. They do, do a wonderful job. We book with them every time. If you can find a cheaper price out there, like at Costco or somewhere, do it. But we love this guy because there's no prepayments. So you can book it and if prices go down before your trip, you can just cancel and rebook. Mm -hmm. It makes it really convenient and they do it with all the big national carriers. Another way to save is do like a rent a -rent company. We also have a link down below to a lot of our favorite local car rental places on each of the islands. And like I mentioned before, if you are looking to get a few nights free at some of the hotels out here, we have bookedwithpoints.com, which shows you how to do that with some of the great hotels in Hawaii. Number five is make sure you pick the right island to visit. Mm -hmm. You know, it sounds like an old brainer, but it can be tricky, or it can be. I think they're all wonderful islands. They're all wonderful, them. but they're not the same. They're not the same. So not make sure same. you understand your bucket list items to do, kind of like the weather you want, the time of year you're going, yeah. and figure it out. We have an article down below to help you on that. But like, for example, if you want to visit Pearl Harbor, 
then go to Oahu, if, right? If you want to swim manta rays, you should be on the big island. Exactly. And if you want to do a wonderful, amazing snorkeling trip, oh man, you can really do any island you want for you that sure one. Could. You really could. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we did this last year. We're going to do it again. Go quiz Erica on the best Hawaiian island for X. Okay. okay. What's the best island for whale watching? Maui. Best for honeymooners? Mm, Kauai. What's the cheapest island to visit? Oahu. The most expensive? Uh, it's Maui, usually also Kauai sometimes. There you go. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Best for stargazing? Uh, big Island. If you want to see an erupting volcano? Big Island. If it's erupting. We'll have to see this here. Where to snorkel with manta rays? Big Island. And the best for a helicopter tour? Kauai. There you go. The Poly Coast. One quick thing. Don't leave your vacation to chance. Right? This is big. We mentioned it's expensive. You want to make sure it's well planned, but don't stress because we have you covered with our itineraries. I got to say, they're good. We love them. Yeah. Other people <laughs> like them. They take you on perfectly planned itinerary days out around the islands. So head to the hawaiivacationguide.com slash itineraries to check those out. We get this that slot. Booking a luau. Is it worth it? Is it not worth it? Right? If you do want to see a luau, awesome, do it. But make sure you book in advance, especially if you're coming during the busy season of June through August. Some of the best luau's can sell out months in advance. So book that right now if you can. We have an article down below. Is a luau worth it? Because there's a lot of great cultural activities to do around the islands. You don't have to go to a luau. My saying is if you go to Vegas for the shows, then you're going to like a luau. That's, that's a really good example. There you go. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Mm. Number seven, here we are, is you need to prioritize your can't miss thing. And I know that's obvious, but it's also not once you get here and start doing things. Exactly. So let us help you out with some of the bucket list items on each island, starting with Oahu. Pearl Harbor, you go there for the history. But there's also a lot of historical sites there, like the Pearl Harbor Aviation Museum in the Battleship, Missouri. Go to the North Shore for the Majing Beaches, the hikes, the food trucks, shave ice, of course, and also a lot of great cultural sites on Oahu. Queen Emma's Summer Palace, the Iolani Palace, and the Bishop Museum, just to name a few. Over to Maui. Head over there to go up Haleakala for sunrise or sunset. You can also head out on the road to Hana, see our articles for the strategic routes and etiquette for driving. But bonus, get a local guide to avoid the drive, support local business, and learn the history of the area. You'll talk story all day, and you will go home with some great facts and nuggets and cocktail <laughs> conversation starters. Up to Kauai, you got Waimea Canyon, gorgeous views, great for hiking. Also, you have Poipu Beach, which is absolutely gorgeous. And of course, you have irrigation canals for mountain tubing. You can only do that on Kauai. And then on the Big Island, this is, you know, Mother Nature permitting, but <laughs> there can be eruptions. Kilauea could be erupting. Mm -hmm. So you can grab lunch at the Rim House and enjoy a volcanic eruption. Also, you can go manta ray night snorkeling. And I gotta say, I think the Big Island is best for waterfalls. Oh yeah, swimming good in call. Waterfalls. <laughs> Number eight is overthinking when to visit. It's Hawaii, you're in the tropics. The weather is always wonderful, so don't stress it. If the kids are out of school, if you got time off work, then book a trip to Hawaii. It is wonderful. But talking about weather, why we're here, Hawaii has a winter and a summer, mm -hmm. right? The summer is, what is this, May through about October yeah. time frame, And then during the winter months, you have a higher probability of rain, mm -hmm. especially on the windward sides of the island. That's the wet sides of the island and higher surf and rougher weather up there. But the winter is still a gorgeous time to come. Hence, I mean, whale season, right? Whale People walking. love coming. Yeah, yeah, it's wonderful, right? The summer is the busiest month. June, July, August, when you see the most people on the islands. The shoulder seasons are April and May, and then September and October, when school's in, essentially. In summary, coming to Hawaii at any time is wonderful. Number nine, make sure you pack reef-friendly sunscreen. And to be honest, the rules on Maui in the Big Island is only mineral-based sunscreen is allowed to be sold on the islands. So we really encourage wearing mineral-based sunscreen when you go out in the water, just to help protect the reef, help restore it. We're all about rejuvenation and rejuvenating tourism here in the islands. If you're not sure if your sunscreen is compliant with Hawaii's laws, just wait until you come out here to purchase your sunscreen here, because then you will definitely get something that is okay to use here. And also don't forget, you can pack sun protective clothing. They're great sun shirts. Check out our packing list because we list out a few. Number 10 is don't skip the local grinds. 
There's so much great food here. Food that's really specific to the Hawaiian Islands. From a plate lunch, to poke, to shave ice, to like a good Hawaiian plate with lomi lomi and kalua pork. There's just a lot of great food to eat here. Find a great mom and pop hole in the wall place to go visit. You see a food truck, stop. That's mm. our family motto. <laughs> There's just a lot of great food. We, we love it. It's always been delicious. Before coming out here and when you are here, make sure you understand ocean safety. The Pacific Ocean is fierce. And while it can look very mellow, it can have really big waves, strong currents, and you just want to make sure you are keeping yourself, your family, and everyone else safe. So here's some tips for you to keep you safe in the water. All right. Never turn your back on the ocean. Always go snorkeling with a buddy. Always keep your eye on your kids out there. Mm -hmm. If in doubt, don't go out. Try to swim at lifeguarded beaches. Make sure you obey lifeguard flags and check the conditions before you go out. So you can check those online. They have them listed for some of the most popular beaches on the island. Want to keep you alive so you come back to Hawaii again. Last but not least, how far in advance should you book a trip to Hawaii? We try and book our trips five to six months in advance, I would mm -hmm. say, because we like to make sure we can get some good deals. We come out frequently, so I mean, that's pretty important for us to do. So for the super popular restaurants like Mama's Fish House on Maui, you're going to want to book like six months in advance. For other restaurants, you can book your meals like a month in advance. You know, make sure you get some nice seating at the beach house here on Kauai and enjoy the sunset. For tours, usually a month to even two weeks in advance is mm -hmm. fine for tours, but big things you want to get the date and time you want. Yeah. I always recommend doing like a tour that you want to go like big. Do that early in your trip in case of weather it has to be rescheduled. We have all of our favorite tours listed down below. Luau's can book up really far in advance, especially in the summer. So if you really want to hit up a luau, make sure you just book that when you can. We give tips on when to book all of our favorite things to do in our itineraries. We kind of help you plan out your trip that way. So make sure you check out those itineraries if we're not overselling this, I hope we're not. And I have to put a caveat in there. If you are watching this because you were like, I am booking a trip to Hawaii next week. Well, you know what, good for you. Book what you can, work with what you have. Yeah. Okay. It's all gonna be fine. <laughs> You're gonna do a great job planning this out. Boom, we'll stop the timer. Those are our 12, but keep watching for a few more tips. How much do you tip out on a tour? So a good rule of thumb is 10 to $20 per person for like a four hour snorkeling tour. You can do cash, that's always preferred. A lot of them take Venmo also. Bring cash for like we said, tips and food trucks. Now don't get me wrong, the islands are mostly cashless, but there's always a few times where you need some cash. Cell phone coverage is good across the islands. Mm -hmm. We've never had a problem with anything except like really remote areas. If you're in a really remote area, you should probably ask yourself, why am I in this very remote area? <laughs> Check lifeguard flags before you head out. Talk to the lifeguard, it's always a good idea, especially if you're new. Sign up for our newsletter. We have a wonderful Ooh. newsletter. It's got over like 50,000 members on it. We have a lot of fun writing it. You'll, you'll learn a lot more about Hawaii by reading the newsletter. And then how many islands to visit? Usually we recommend one island, maybe two islands if you're staying for 10 days or more. Yeah. We have an island hopping guide down below that's really helpful on how to hop between islands. Yeah. There we go. Thanks so much for watching. And we have a lot more videos to watch on Hawaii. Check out our channel for more information. It really will help you do all your planning for you. Also, we have a website with like 400 articles just for you to help you plan. So check that out too. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Number eight is, nope, number 10. 10. Number eight is don't skip. Um, number 10. What'd I say? Eight, okay. again. <laughs>